There is a story about a successful business name, businessman who was named John. John, once or twice a month, would gather a group of poor children and take them out for a day of fun. The day started by going to a store where he bought some clothes for them, followed by either watching a movie or going to an entertainment spot. And finally, the day would end with a good meal. So while they were eating, one of the little boys asked John, he said, John, are you Jesus? And of course, John smiled and answered, no, he said, I am not Jesus. The little boy said to, Jesus, to John, he said, John, one thing I know about Jesus is that he helps people. And you are like him, helping us. So Jesus was recognized by helping people. And this happens in today's gospel. In today's gospel, there are two points I would like to mention. The first one is the two disciples going to Emmaus were really confused. They were deeply unhappy that their leader, Jesus, was killed on the cross. And they were puzzled when some of the women said to the disciples that they had seen that Jesus has risen. The second point is Jesus. How does he react? Jesus does two things to help the two disciples. The first thing that he does is he explains to them clearly what was in the scriptures about him. And secondly, at the home, they had the Eucharist. And in the celebrating of the Eucharist, they recognized Jesus. And so he helped them by explaining the scriptures and by celebrating the Eucharist. Let us apply this to our daily lives. Today, there are many people like the two disciples. They are either confused about Jesus, they know such a person may have lived a couple of, a couple of thousands of years ago, they know he died on the cross, but for them, he had no connection with their lives. Or some people might think that Jesus does not help us. He's, it happened 2,000 years ago. He's not able to help us in any way. So like the two disciples, they are confused about this Jesus. Secondly, Jesus continues to help us as he helped those two disciples. How does he do that? In many ways. I will suggest two ways. First of all, he sends us wonderful people who follow his example. There's Mother Saint Teresa. There's our Pope Francis. These people are so helpful that they give us an idea of what Jesus did on earth. Secondly, Jesus provides us with his word. Every time we hear the Bible read or attend Mass and hear the priest give a homily, that is Jesus speaking to us. Also, we have the Eucharist. Every time we come to church, we're able to receive the Eucharist, the body and blood of Christ. And this is another way that Jesus helps us. So I told you the little story about the good businessman, John, who helped the boys. 
Today's Gospel tells us about the two disciples who were puzzled about this man, Jesus. And of course, Jesus helped them by explaining the scriptures and by celebrating the Eucharist. Today, there are many people confused about Jesus, either reject him or say that he's not able to help us. But we know that's not true. Jesus helps us as he helped the two disciples. He sends us wonderful people like Mother Teresa, Saint Mother Teresa. He sends us people like our Pope Francis. And of course, when we hear the Word of God, whether we read it in the Bible or at Sunday Mass, it's Jesus teaching us, helping us. And also, of course, when we receive the Eucharist, it's Jesus helping us. And so today, we thank Jesus for being so caring. We thank him for helping us. We ask him to make us like him. As Jesus helped people, we ask Jesus to help us to help others. God bless you.